Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We can finally come back to Canada. Yay! Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh awesome. my god. Yes, folks, it is so exciting to be back in Canada. And I am at Andy Myers Lodge, my favorite place on famous Eagle Lake, 67,000 acres full of lake trout, muskies, walleye, northern pike, everything. And if you're interested in coming up to Canada right now, crossing the border is really pretty easy. All you have to do is be vaccinated. Number two, you have to take a COVID test 72 hours before arrival. And uh, there is a website on the bottom of the screen that you've been seeing that you can go to for all the information you need to come in to Canada. Julian, it's so good to see you, buddy. It's been two years, and uh, it was a rough couple years for you guys up here without having any guests. It was two years too long. Uh, very excited and enthusiastic to be doing what we love, back up and running. Uh, we are running full capacity, a uh, lot of great loyal guests booking every day. We still have some openings for September and October. Great fishing, but we're very excited to see the staff back, uh, see people enjoy life, come out, do fishing on this great lake and it's awesome to have you back. Well you have professional guides here that are just outstanding and they stuck with you they're all back. Right from the dock ends to the guide staff to Wendy the cook uh, all come back all been supportive of uh, me and Nikki through this whole pandemic uh, so very excited to see everyone. Well September and October you said you got openings that's a great time to come up here for muskies and walleyes and pike and lake trout and we're gonna have fun the next two days right? Oh we're gonna have a blast. I use our Johnson pump wash down kit to clean up after my messy dad. What'd you say Blake? Oh, dad. I use my Johnson pump wash down kit to clean my dock and my pontoon. I use my Johnson pump to get the boat ready for tomorrow's clients. Learn about the many uses of the Johnson pump washdown at getjohnsonpumped.com. What's really interesting, folks, about running a camp in the sticks or in the bushes, you guys call it up here, you need to rely on your machines, boats, trucks, everything. And you're a firm believer in AMSOIL? I wouldn't get anything else. I, we've run that product for the last four and a half years, and what a difference on our equipment. And you got to remember, John, the boats, the motors, our trucks, they're not just running two days a week. They're running seven days a week, full out high performance. And with that new quick shot, I love throwing that in our fuel. The oil, no breakdown, best product by far. Welcome back, folks. I'll tell you what, it's a treat to be back with Danny Herbeck. It really is. It feels good to be back in Canada. Hey, Danny, I'll tell you what, you know, there's so many different things that you can do this time of year up here on Eagle Lake. What you want to do is start out the day for walleyes? Yeah, we'll start out for some walleyes and see where that goes and then probably finish up for muskies and that type of stuff. Well, I wanted to ask you, since really nobody's fished Eagle Lake other than you native Canadians, you know, the last couple of years, are there more walleyes and is fishing a little bit easier? You know, it all depends on the day and everything, but definitely the fishing is, you know, really good right now. Well, that didn't take long. Danny, what do you got on, buddy? I don't know. We'll see. It's fighting like a bass, John. You need the net? No, it's a walleye. Let's see what we got Ooh, there. Oh, nice fish, Danny. Oh, coming in hot. <laughs> now, that is a beautiful walleye. And is that about the average that you guys get? Yeah, I get a lot of fish, you know, eater size, but obviously we get a lot of big ones, too. But that's just an all-around good eating size fish. Took about two minutes. Hey, hey, Julian's got one on now, right after Danny's. This looks like a little bit better fish. I think we're going to need that clam there. All right, buddy, keep him coming. Oh, my gosh, look at the size of that walleye, Julian Kolka. That is a slobosaurus, buddy. Yeah, nice look at, walleye. Look at the size of that. Man, that's 30 inches long, dude. Nice fish for sure. Seen Danny hit, and I just went to a Kalen's quick, and 
That Just is a beautiful dollar. fish, buddy. Is that uncommon here? No, you get a lot of nice ones, a lot of average or your 18, 17, 18s. We get a lot of slots, but it seems like every day guides are coming in and guests with at least a few big ones, 27 plus. So Hold that up nice one fish. more time. I mean, that is a super walleye, buddy. Look at that. That's a fish of a lifetime right there. Hey, there we go. All right, Blakey, let's see what we got here. And here it comes in the wind. Oh, lift them in, lift them in. Nice walleye there, Thank Blake. You. Just on a jig and a minnow. That's what you're using? Yep, a just a jig and a minnow and uh, bouncing it off the bottom. Hey, in the back of the boat, here we go, folks. I'll tell you what, nothing like being back at Annie Myers Lodge. Yeah, there we go. Boy, did he ever eat that jerk minnow. One thing that's interesting, folks, we got a lot of wind today, and I started out with a with a quarter ounce jig head, and Danny said, make sure you go a little bit heavier, so I got a three ounce on there, three eighth ounce. <laughs> all right, Blake, all right, Blake. Somebody get next to Blake. There we go, there we go. Ooh. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, a little pikey. Oh, that little pike, look at that. Come on, little pike, Danny, that's a beauty. That's a nice fish, Danny, here he comes, and... Come on, get him in the clam. I mean, Blake, that's a fatty. Pat the belly on that one. It's a fatty just on that jig and minnow. I yeah. thought it was a big walleye. That was pretty cool to see that northern in the water. Hey, 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 look at that, Danny Herbeck. Hey, Danny, what did you do during COVID, buddy? Did, did you fish at all? Uh, I did some fishing with the family, but I had to, you know, get another job to stay busy. So I worked some construction with, uh, with, a, town, with a group out of town. Yeah. So you're glad to be back. It feels nice to be back fishing for sure. Well, we're starting to get a little rain, a little misty. Whoa! Pikey! What do you think we got on here, buddy? Big pike. Big pike, you think? Wow, did he ever smack that jerk minnow, folks. Look at that rod's bent in half there, Danny. That rod's bent in half, buddy. Got some weight to it, man. Oh, that is a big fish. Look at you taking another run on me, buddy. Taking another run. You see him rip off about 10 yards of line there? Whoa, there he goes again, whoa. There he comes. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Danny. Look at that one, buddy. Look at the stomach on this fish, buddy. Look at that. Now there, he's he's eating something, oh, huh? Yeah. yeah. You know, and I, I think that that's one of the greatest things about coming to Eagle Lake. You can make up your mind in the morning, do you want to fish lake trout, northern pike, smallmouth bass, walleye, yeah. uh, muskie, everything, right? We have it all. Now, hold that one out, buddy. That's the biggest pike I've caught this year. Nice oh. tummy. Nice tummy. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Blake. And yeah. One, but yeah, you just flip him in. Nice. Here he is. Here he is. Ooh, nice. Now that, you know, when you're catching average walleyes like that, Blake, that's pretty special. Oh, absolutely. And we're catching a lot, you know, in a short amount of time, which is a lot of fun. Hey, there yeah. he is. Julian's got one. I hope this is as big as that one you caught earlier today, buddy. Uh, I don't know if it's that big, but they're all pretty nice. To, I mean, they're all average like Danny sleds. Oh, slots. look at that. That's a nice walleye there anywhere you go. Hey, yeah, they're, uh, I think one of the neat things about coming to your camp, buddy, is you make sure everybody catches fish, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we do whatever we can, whether you're guided or not, to put you on them each day. We'll study the maps. Uh, but like Danny mentioned, with the guides, you're spot on spot. And when you get cold fronts like this or conditions, it can really make a difference getting a guide for the day. And you can catch these all day long. Ooh. Look at that. Hey, Julian again. Now yeah. that's bending the rod, isn't it, buddy? This Pike. one feels good. Yeah. This might beat my one. Is it, does it feel like a walleye? Yeah, it uh, does. Pike. It's a pike? I don't it's know. Okay, well, let's see how big it is. I hope it's another fatty, though. Coming up fast, so it might be a northern, John. Ooh, that's another nice dandy pike. Look at that. And you know, of course, Eagle Lake is known so much for its walleyes and uh, it's muskies. Yeah, you know, we come up here and ice fish. You've got a darn good pike deal here too. Yeah, the pike on this lake are healthy. It's good to see some smaller ones, but again, saying earlier when you caught them two nice ones is, 
the ones on these deeper humps are really healthy. Like Danny said, eating the walleyes and that, but look how thick they are. Now that, look at, yeah, that, that's about what, a 30, 32 inch fish? Look at the width on that thing. That's what I love, you guys. Hey, Julian, you know, we talked about it at the top of the program, buddy. There's still plenty of time for folks to get up here to Andy Myers Lodge and to Canada, period. And uh, tell the folks, September and, and that fishing through October is awful good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, like you mentioned, we do have some spots left uh, throughout September into October. There's about a couple, a few each week. Uh, people that are vaccinated right now, I suggest coming up. I know a lot are excited, but it is a great time to fish. Uh, we're going to run up till the ice kicks us off the lake. So we're looking forward to seeing more people up here. Ooh, this one looks a little better, doesn't it? I'm glad you came back with me, you know then? I was telling you where to cast. Well, I know. Ooh, that's fighting good. Kaelin! Hey, there you go. That's a nice walleye. And you know that we talked a little bit about it before, the versatility of Fish and Eagle Lake, Danny. And, uh, you know, we, we can sit here and catch walleyes all day, but you want to try a little musky fishing today? I would think we almost have to. Yeah, you like the wind in the clouds for that, right? Yeah. Let's see that one. That's a beautiful fish right there, buddy. And uh, remember that one year you wore the clicker on your belt there and counted yeah. the walleyes? How many walleyes did you catch that year? It was over 10,000. I can't remember the exact number, but it was over 10,000. Over 10,000 yeah. walleyes. That's incredible. Hey, it's great to be back up here with you guys. That was a tough couple of years, huh? It was a tough run, but, you know, hopefully we're on the up and up and things will get keep getting better. Well, the sun just peeked out and Danny's got one on here. Folks, you need the net, Danny? Uh, I'll flip them. All right. I'll tell you what, Blake's itching to go musky fishing. What do you think? Uh, That's a, oh, look at that. Hold that one up nice and high. What do you think? You want to go musky fishing or catch one or two more of these, buddy? Uh, we'll catch one more and go musky fishing. Yeah. But I mean, you know, seriously, we haven't put in that much time today. And uh, really on an average day, you're serious folks can come out here and catch 100 walleyes with a guide? Yeah. That is amazing. And there's always the potential for a trophy here because we've caught some big ones over yeah, the years. Yeah, there's lots of 27 to 30 inch fish in the system right now. And usually, I mean, you get a, you know, not saying every day you get one, but you usually get some 24s, 25s every day. And then, you know, you got a really good chance at a, you know, a great big one. Yeah. Another one here, Johnny. All right, buddy, let's see. That's right after yeah. Danny released oh, his. God. You all right there, Danny? <laughs> Be careful there, buddy. <laughs> Danny actually released his, and this one hit right after. Ooh, yeah. Hey, whoa, that's just incredible average size, Julian. You know, one thing I want to mention, too, you know, since uh, a lot of people haven't been fishing these waters the last year and a half, two years, Blake, you got one on, too? Yeah, oh, it's wow. almost a triple header. <laughs> what? That's a big one? I thought it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. We, don't throw that back yet. We can hold sure these up right. together. Nice oh job, Blake. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See that sun popped out there, guys. Take your time, Blake. What do you think, Danny? Uh, it's Good hard one. to say what it oh, is. Oh, if that's a big walleye, Blake. <laughs> right there with the walleye. <laughs> Beautiful job. That's the way to end a morning of uh, walleye fishing with another big bike and a good walleye. But, but Julian, what I was going to say, buddy, since this lake hasn't gotten a lot of fishing pressure, is the muskie fishing pretty good right now? Yeah, muskie fishing's been hot, so it's nice. I mean, we had it great for being out here this short. We caught a lot of nice quality fish, multi-species northern walleye. But I think Danny's right. I think we should at least give it a try and see if we can get a big muskie. Taking a break from fishing, we come in and make lunch. And what do we cook? Johnsonville's. And we love Johnsonville's. Do Canadians love Johnsonville's uh, too? I love them. <laughs> yeah. And today we're cooking the original brats. All you got to do is cook them low and slow for about 10, 15 minutes till they're golden brown. And they are delicious. All right. Take a bite, y'all. Perfect. How good are those? Mm. Good? Awesome. Good. Johnsonville Brats. Oh, yeah. Johnsonville Original Brats. Find them at your local retailer today. We were fishing Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Lodge, an 11 and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 12 and a half hours from Chicago, and seven hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. And they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. 
Amazing. Nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when when steering. A spot lock. Man, it's second to none. Game changer. It's a game changer. Game changer. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of the lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. Bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Bait Mate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. Okay, switching gears to muskies, Julian. I love this uh, late August, September time because you can throw pretty much any bait, right? You can. This time of year, I mean, right now we're fishing a little bit of weeds and rocks, so being fourth bait through, I'm throwing a rubber bulldog, Danny and Blake. I mean, you've got top water and blades, uh, but right now we're seeing them on pretty much everything. Like I said, there wasn't pressure for the last year and a half like we're used to, so we can really tell the difference. Rocks or weeds or both? A little bit of both. Figure eight, figure eight. You can't, I gotta go wider. There's two of them. Wider, slower, wider, slower. Did you see two? There was two of I, them. I saw one. There was two. That's going to eat. Going That's going to eat. Wide. Wide, wide. Good job, Blake. Slow it down. Where'd it go? Oh, my God. <laughs> got him. You got him. You got him. You got him, Blake. Oh, my gosh. You got him. Oh, darn it all. Oh. Wow. That was a big one, too. What happened? I don't know. You saw that whole thing. What happened? did everything right. I mean, it's one of them things. She went to the turn, it come twice, and I knew it was gonna eat, because you could see it just double kick its tail, speed up in her first turn. And I heard Danny say, go wide, go wide, and she slowed it down. Then when it come up and ate on that second turn, I mean, she did it, it's what they do, right? She come out, and when it jumped halfway out of the water and it shakes its head, the best you can do is keep your rod tip down, because if you give it any leeway, just flies out, but that, got, that was just cool to see. Yeah, that's part of musky fishing. Still early yet. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. When you buy a Fluger President spinning reel at a low fleet price of $59.99, you get a free $10 Fleet Farm gift card. Ooh. He's back. He's back. Oh, you got him. You got, oh, my. What happened on that, Danny? Just nipping like they've been doing. Yeah, but he made a strong move on that, didn't he? At the back of it, yeah. What? Oh, you got him! 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 Nice hook set! Nice hook set, Julian! Nice hook set, buddy! Get that net, get that net, get that net! Beautiful right. job there, beautiful job there, buddy! Boy, you saw him coming in. Look at that muskie, look at that muskie! Oh my, look at him! Yeah, way to go, Jay! Come on, up here! Hey! You, see, you know, when we started muskie fishing today, we had some chances, but you didn't like the weather. And what did you say? We'll get we'll get a shot right at dark. And what happened? It's, we still got a little bit of time. Yet. Yeah, but no, Julian, buddy, oh. come on up here. I mean, you know, the last day that we've musky fished, which is half of yesterday and half of today, how many fish do you think we saw? 25, 30? Oh, easy. I mean, we've had our chances, just like Danny said, short nipping today. He uh, did everything perfect on his turns, and when they bite light like that in the back, it's hard in the eight. It's fortunate I'd seen him late. I was just past the first turn, come up late, and I was first time, second corner. You could see him just grab, but again, I was fortunate to get hooks in it because, again, he bit light, but we got it finally. And, Blake, you know, that's the you, you put in a hard day today. That's the, thing about, the, that's the thing about musky yeah. fishing. You know, you, you go to the end for that one chance. Absolutely, and Danny has really put through a lot of hours for us, so grateful for that. Yeah, but, Julian, I mean, seriously, now, folks going to come up in September, October. That musky fishing is phenomenal. Yeah, it's my favorite time of year. I love the fall. The <laughs> fall musky hunt, late September, is good for all species, but musky, it's like this, only going to get better. I'll tell you what, folks, he's guided on Eagle Lake since you were, what, 14 years old? Yep, that's what we started. And uh, 
You still are shaking and get excited when you catch a fish. Yeah, especially this one. We worked so hard. You know, we've had our chances today. I mean, Danny kept saying it's got to pay off. And I think we do got a little bit of time left, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, get a bigger one here. Ooh, whoa, look at that fatty. Oh, my beautiful fish, you guys. Hey, thanks for a great trip, buddy. I mean, you gave us some great walleye fishing, pike fishing, and on top it off with a muskie like that. Thank yep. you, buddy. Worked Thank you. Good. Yeah, beautiful fish. It's now time to announce this week's winners the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Mark Pels of Powers Lake caught this 54-inch muskie on the turtle flowage on a bucktail. Scott Menchow of Beaver Dam boated this 40-inch northern on Beaver Dam Lake on a Cleo. Bill Simonson of Appleton, Wisconsin caught this 11-inch bluegill on the Wolf River on a wet fly. Noel Olson of St. Peter, Minnesota caught this 22-inch smallmouth on Sturgeon Bay on a sucker. And this week's kids winners are Justin Childers of Sioux Falls, South Dakota caught this 33-inch carp on Lake Poinsett on a crawler. And Vince Mack of Trempolo, Wisconsin caught this 22-inch smallmouth on the willow flowage on a minnow. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. 20% off the all beef fish and tackle lures on sale starting at $2.47 and save $10 on the Lakes and River tackle bag on sale for $19.99. So I noticed you're wearing blackfish just like me. Yes. What do you like about the blackfish gear? Well, I'm on the water 200 yeah. days a year easy, and I hate putting sunscreen on all the time. Me too. <laughs> with the UPF protection of the blackfish gear, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't have to screw around with the, the sunscreen or mm -hmm. anything like that. I'm protected all the time, and mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about skin cancer or anything else that us fishing guides get. It, and it probably keeps you cool all day long. It does. It, yeah. You know, it's just a very nice, cool feeling. And guess what? It's chemical free. So. As many times as you wash it, you will still get protected. For more information, go to blackfishgear.com. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. We got a special guide today, a yeah. special guest. Yeah. And uh, he's going to teach me how to fish walleyes. His name is uh, Dax Herbeck. I heard he's really good I, at walleye fishing. I'm going to ask him. Hey, Dax, you can't Scissors. catch a walleye, can you? Yeah, I can. What do you use for the walleyes, Dax? These stuff. Well, what is it? It's, it's, it's a minnow. A minnow? And what do you put the minnow on? A jig. And then what do you do? Put it in the water. Yeah. Do you let it go to the bottom? Yeah. What the heck? What's wrong with this G? What's wrong with this rod? I, you know, I, you know, I don't know. You got to talk to the big guy, your dad. Hey, Dax, you got a walleye? Dax, you got a walleye? What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh! Look at him reeling, folks. Look at him reeling. Dax, it's a big one. Oh, look at that, Dax and Rooney. Hey, Dax, what happened there? What, did it bite or what? It, it bit. <laughs> it bit my min, it bit my minnow. <laughs> wow. That's cool, Dad. Is that your first one ever? No. No? I caught lots more. Hey, Danny, this is a great place a great opportunity to teach kids how to fish up here at i mean yeah what else it's a great place to come start to you know start a young fisherman's career off catch a bunch of fish i mean he's four and he comes out here and catches while he's at will now you know oh my gosh he's got another one blake look at that he's got another one he is incredible hey look at that now dax can i keep that one for dinner if you want to i can <laughs> How do you, do you eat fish a lot? Oh man, we'll tangle up. Oh, oh. Man, they'll tangle up. Oh, hey, do you uh, fish with your sister, Berkeley? She never fishes. Oh, wow. Can you catch me another one? I can't. Dax, how do you make them bite? What do you do? Just keep it still. Yeah. 
just just drop it as not like like need a little like more line. Dax, what? I need some help. I got a walleye on I, Dax. I, I, I'm, oh, I'm Dax, quick, net. quick! What are we gonna do? Whoa, Dax! Quick, get the net. Okay, Dax, get him for me, Dax. It's a big one, Dax. Oh, Dax Arino, nice job, buddy. We got him, we got him, we got him. What do you think, man? Is that a good one? Yeah. I, I caught him, right? Oh, mine's bigger than yours, isn't it? I caught one that's the size of that. That's actually mine that oh, I caught. Oh, it's yours, but it came on my rod? How do you explain yeah. that? Well... That was so funny. Well, well, no, that's my fish. I caught that fish. It, I actually caught that one. Well, well, how did you catch it when it was on my rod? You caught it. I caught it on my rod, and then you caught it, uh, then it came over to your rod. Hey, Dax, do you go bear hunting? Yeah. Do when you it's, really? When it's bear season. Do you have a tackle box? Yeah. What's in your tackle box? Jigs. Jigs? In the in spinning lures? Yeah, well I got a gift for you today because you caught so many fish. Look at all these I got for your tackle box. You got me those? I did get you those. I'm going to put those in the front of my tackle box. Yeah, and you put those on a jig and then what do you do? Jig it? And what happens? They bite it. Yeah, what are these called? Plastics? No. Oh what Grubs. Are Grubs, all right. <laughs> hey, it was nice fishing with you, buddy. Thank you for catching wallies. Whoa, oh. don't lose that. For more information on fishing packages at Andy Myers Lodge, call 888-727-5865. 727-5865. It's time to save big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event, with as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings. Then, let's ride. John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey.